so if my body were broken in some capacity, I would come here. I wouldn't try to fix it myself. Definitely better for professionals. My boots need repair. I've walked a lot of miles in these boots and it shows. I don't have the skills or the time to fix them myself. This is a professional cobbler. Someone that has the skills to repair my shoes and whom I am happy to pay. For the most part, I like repairing things. If I have the skill set, the time, and importantly, the proper tools, I am happy to repair. There's something to be said for repairing rather than replacing. So repairing this shirt keeps it from becoming just another piece of trash in a landfill. Now, as I go through this process, I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I know that there were generations of women before me that knew how to make a patch in clothing and could hand sew like it was nobody's business. There is actually a technique called sashiko from ancient Japan that is now considered an art form. It was born out of necessity. The poor could not afford new clothing, so they used what was available to patch and mend their clothes, but they did it in a beautiful way, a way that was intended to be seen. And it reinforces the structure of the fabric. It's essentially a beautifully executed patch that appreciates the value of a garment. My shirt is not an expensive or particularly special shirt, but I have a sentimental attachment to it. It serves me as a shirt, a jacket on cool days, a smock in the studio when I'm painting, and now it's a work of art. Sometimes things need to be repaired, not because I've worn them out, but because they simply come to me broken. Such is the case with the handle of this radio. I set out to try and figure out a solution. Once again, using things that I know I have readily available, like plywood. Knowing that it was never going to look whole and brand new again, opened up a little more creativity for me. And the opportunity as the mender, or the artist, to show my fingerprints, my marks, in the repair. But I don't know much about this kind of repair. I heard an expert once say that plumber's epoxy was the answer. Is this the same? 
I'll have to seek out his expert advice. Rachel Padilla asks me, is JB Weld steel stick the same as plumber's epoxy? I don't know, but the reason I love plumber's epoxy is because it's, it's dry in like 15 minutes. Like it starts to get hard in like five minutes. And so you don't have to wait a long time. And so like, that's what you fix the motorcycles and shit with is, uh, it's called plumber's epoxy, but probably JB Weld steel stick is probably the same thing, but that'll be, that'll be what, that's how, you know, if it's like dry in 15 minutes and like a rock hard, that's, that's the plumber's epoxy you want. That's what you want. Well, that's all I needed to hear. So I'll give it a try. Whether it's getting a professional, doing it myself, or seeking out the advice of an expert. I get such a sense of satisfaction from repairing things. The stitching that almost becomes meditative or the use of JB Weld and the creativity that comes from figuring out a solution. There's also the complete contentment of knowing that I mended or repaired something with my own two hands. It really develops an artistic skill set. But most of all, I think there's the complete satisfaction of having completed the job. I think you just have to have this mindset of like finish no matter what, just, you have to finish the damn thing, no matter what. And by a certain realistic time, or maybe it's before you start the next thing, you have to finish this thing, no matter what. 